Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for checking out this episode. Uh, if you could be so kind as to hit that like button and hit the comment section down below, that would help a lot. So, at the moment, I'm just heading to the Panopticon. Uh, P6 cell archives or security. Alright, P6 then. I didn't think anyone would be alive down here, so I'm a bit concerned. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay, hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated, away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Is the TV back in its box yet? No rush or anything, it's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Uh huh. There are questions. Cool. Do you like working at the FPC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. It's not that creepy. I was singing the like talking to plants uh, last episode or the episode before, like singing to objects. It's it's normal. Yeah, I assume. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them, the inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. 
At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another 10 years and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. Yeah, I think it's more the second one. The gun definitely picked you. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. I better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance review. I have a cat to feed. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Okay, let's go find the TV. Okay, so there's a possessed mailbox. A hamper. Like a wicker basket or whatever. Um, a fan. What's that? A hammer? Right. Uh, what floor am I on? Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. Whoa. Where, where am I going? I'll come back, I promise. Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. How am I going to get in there, though? Alright, I'll come back for you, buddy. Someone shooting at someone.
That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Is it me, or does this room look very much like the Bureau XCOM declassified? With all the guys in suits and women, like a woman in a skirt. I do wonder what, like, era this is meant to be set in. It could be the 60s for all I know. They're still using magnetic tape and projectors. Oh, that's Salvador. Damn it. Okay, that was actually a pretty fun... That's actually a pretty fun battle, that was. Like, when it was throwing, uh, you know, just chunks of concrete at me and then just, like, using the shield and everything. That seemed like a really dynamic kind of fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ah. Now I can fly. There must be some kind of drawback to this. Alright, I think it's more like a... More of a gliding kind of motion, I think. Like it'll eventually just start dropping. I died. Uh, no. Which way am I going? I came from that way. I didn't read that, I was too quick. Has the hiss done something? Okay. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. I've dealt with the TV, but everything is still floating in midair. How do I get up to the... I assume I have to use the levitate ability. <laughs> Alright, I'm on the fifth floor. P6. What the hell? Okay. So you got one of your swan boat, a water cooler. A crowbar.
Now, let me check around quickly. Nope, can't go anywhere else. Are you there, Essie? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. Apparently, somewhere around here, uh, you can get like an extra outfit. There's like a P6 outfit somewhere. It's probably in there, knowing knowing my luck. But I don't have a level 6 security card yet. Uh, Alright, let me check one last time. Alright, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean. Back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. Find me. To take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too. To the Bureau. If she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... Andy Session. Okay, so they were looking for Jesse? Or at least starting to? Alright, where's this container? I just assumed it wasn't that far. It was like somewhere around here because, you know, it's a container with clothes. Where would they keep it? Well, I pretty much finished the mission and then <laughs> just like 
faffing around looking for this outfit. I'll find it, no doubt. But uh, yeah, I'm going to call the video to an end here. I hope you've all enjoyed. We've just finished uh, my brother's keeper, so I'll be moving on to the face of my enemy in the next video. And then uh, let's take a look, shall we? Um, yeah, I'll be doing some of these side missions then for the a few videos after the next one. Or the one after next, depends how long of a mission the face of the enemy is. Hope you've all enjoyed, it's been great, I'm having a hell of a time playing this, it's shaping up to be one of my favourite games this year. If you could be so kind as to hit that like button and hit the comment section, that would help a great deal. Other than that, I look forward to next time, and until then, take care.